All right, folks. So, uh, upgraded the CPU cooler on the i7 12700F. Not my best one. We have quite a few ones better than this, but this is uh, we've got the Noctua 120 millimeter uh, CPU cooler, single tower. I thought about doing the uh, single 140, or hell, just going all out, uh, dual tower, dual 140 millimeter fan, but. We're going to go with this. So previously, we ran XTU, we ran uh, Cinebench, we had issues with power limit throttling. One of the things we're going to try and do now eventually is uh, adjusting uh, power limits. Let me get XTU back up. And we're also just going to run this, you know, right now, right? Um, let's see what the score is. So the I'm somewhat zoomed in here, but up top is where I'm going to hit run. I want you guys to see down here, though, where the temps are. Uh, right. So with the stock cooler, you were at, uh, you know, 40, give or take. I don't think it ever dropped below 40. Um, hell, a lot of times it was it was closer to 50, right? But uh, so this is looking a lot more promising, right? Um, the score itself was... I think 4,300 something. I'd have to check the tape, but uh, let's go ahead and run this. Let's just get her done. And already, folks, I can I can see by this bar going across, it is going a lot better. The temps, the high temp with the CPU cooler, the Intel CPU cooler is 94, and right now we're only at 72. And obviously, you know, even better CPU cooler, we can get that down. But uh, this is looking good. Now, oh, I do see power limit throttling again. So we have not solved that problem. 5110, that's a significant increase over what we had before. I imagine if we run this a few times, we'll get, you know, we'll get different scores. Uh, we'd have to let this cool off which I definitely want to do before I, I run Cinebench. But, um, so that's, that's what we got there. Let's, let's just see if we can get rid of our power limit issue, okay? Now, what should these guys be set to? Well, we need to adjust the camera. You have power limit one here, okay? And this guy's power limit two. Normally, I just set these to unlimited and then power limit 2 follows, right? We'll click apply. Then we'll go back to our benchmark. I want to see this temp get back down, hopefully closer to 30 again. Give it a little bit more time. Now with this program running, it, it you know, may be a little higher than it would be without it. There's 33. So it looks it looks like it's flatlining. All right, 33 it is. So we're going to run this again. And hopefully we'll beat that score. But if we don't beat it, at least hopefully the power limit throttling will not be an issue. So um, worst camera angles ever. Okay, there we go. So we haven't hit power limit throttling. And thermal throttling hasn't been a problem. Boom. Oh, holy shit, folks. That's a huge increase. Um, that's almost like going from one CPU to another. So, you know, I got to I gotta say, uh, I doubt it's a Zbrock or the Sazrock C690. Not the cheapest motherboard out there. Not the cheapest Z690. The second cheapest. Um, but it, uh, it looks like it was a CPU cooler the whole time, so that's good news. All right, so we're going to leave, I think we need to leave this up. I'm not sure if the power limit, power limits will, uh, actually we've got to do this twice, folks. Let us run, let's run this with, uh, Let's see. 
default 241 actually this was default 65 now it's way up here well we're just gonna run it with power limits on screw it alright so we want to go to downloads on my computer and there is Cinebench now I'm just gonna run the multi-core score and I think we're gonna see a ridiculously high increase here, here's where it was 84.57 uh, the i3 12100F. This had the Noctua cooler on it, okay? Had no issues with power limits, but this one obviously did. So I'm going to hit this. We'll check back in about 10, 11 minutes, and uh, we'll see what score we got. All right, folks, it's getting closer. You can see uh, orange over here on the right that uh, it's quite a bit up on the rankings. Overpassing a uh, Threadripper 1950X 16 core, and the old the old score was 8457. So it's looking like this one's going to be greater than 16315. Now, obviously, running this multiple times uh, would be better. That old score once again was with the stock cooler, um, and hence, you know, while I'll probably call this video why why you need to upgrade your CPU cooler for this i7 12700F right so in this video we've troubleshot a couple things one was the the power limits never be able to adjust the power limits with the stock cooler um, with this CPU cooler we were able to adjust those and hence also raise our score significantly. All right, folks, wow, huge difference in score. Um, 20,568. That puts it uh, what would be third on this, this list. And of course, there's so many other CPUs that aren't even on here, but huge increase. And uh, yeah, I like it. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.